Come on. Come on. A Boy and His Blob, released on the PS4 in 2016, is an HD remaster of a Wii game called A Boy and His Blob, which is a reimagining of an NES game called A Boy and His Blob. In it, the titular Blob crash lands on Earth, looking for help because an evil empire has enslaved most of his, most of his race on his home world of Blobalonia. When he crash lands, he finds the boy. And they embark on a quest to save the Blob's homeland. Uh, the game is a 2D side-scrolling puzzle platformer. Uh, you throw jelly beans that the Blob eats and then transforms into a variety of objects from like a trampoline or a shield or a spaceship or a medicine ball. Really all kinds of stuff that help him navigate through some puzzles. None of the puzzles are particularly difficult. Uh, in fact, I don't think the game presents any kind of challenge until the latter half of it, and I kind of hoped that it would have been a little bit more challenging in the beginning, or at least I kind of wish that it had. Um, it treats the first 20 stages. There's... 40 stages total, there's four, uh, I guess, areas with ten levels in each one. Each area is punctuated with a boss fight. And then each of the levels has, like, three treasure chests to find that are tucked away in varying degrees of difficulty to get to. So, it can be more challenging than just getting through the levels if you want to 100 percent it and get all the treasure chests but it's not really required to do so i didn't get all of them but whatever um i'd say overall the game is very enjoyable it's not challenging but it's still fun to play through i would say there are a couple quirks that kind of slow it down a little bit like you've choose a jelly bean to throw at the blob by opening up that little menu and the jelly beans move positions every time you go to a new level so you kind of have to hunt for them and if you press circle to throw a jelly bean there's no way to stop the throwing animation so you throw the jelly bean the blob eats it and then you have to turn it back into a normal blob and so it's not like not the end of the world but it can be a little frustrating even if it is just minor. But on a more major frustrating note, there's certain parts where you throw a jelly bean and the blob's AI has a hard time finding you or finding the bean and finding where it's supposed to go. So it just kind of pathetically jumps around the world. So like, just check this out for a quick second. <laughs> I threw a jelly bean, obviously. He should have been able to figure out how to get there, I think. But he just couldn't do it. There's a couple times where it's just really frustrating. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, there's a couple things. There's a couple puzzles that are timing-based. And each one of the four levels is punctuated by a boss fight, which are all good. Except one of them is, again, focuses more on timing. So, with how slow the blob kind of reacts to eating jelly beans and how he doesn't get exactly to the jelly bean when you would expect him to, it makes it really hard to do some more timing-based puzzles. But, luckily, not many of them are timing-based. A lot of them are just figuring out what to do with your abilities. So, 
overall, it's a good experience. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say pick this game up if you're looking for a super hard challenge. It's definitely more kind of a laid back thing where you want to solve some pretty easy puzzles and enjoy kind of a heartwarming tale of a bond, then check it out, but don't go into it expecting some kind of like Celeste or something like that, because it's going to not put you through the paces, but it's definitely going to keep you entertained. So yeah, that's a boy and his blob. It's a good game. I'd recommend it. And that's all I got for you today. So I'll see you guys in the next video.